Hello everyone, it's Debbie. Welcome. You're at your home, your happy place. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're excited to see some more fall vignettes. Um, I'm getting out here early in the morning, so you're going to see me in different outfits because I started filming this a week ago, and I'm telling you, it was so hot. I don't, it's going to get up to over 80 today, just barely, but last week I think it was pushing 90, and I was melting out there, so I couldn't really finish the cleaning because that took a little bit of time. So let's start out here, and if you're new, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. Follow me on Instagram. I've started posting again. Um, it is a learning curve for me, and I don't always understand. <laughs> I'm so sorry to tell you this, but I don't always understand when I'm getting messages and things. It takes me a while. It took me a while on YouTube to understand that people were messaging me. I went When I first started my channel, which I only put up two videos, this was a long time ago, it took me, I think, nine months before I realized somebody had commented. <laughs> so just understand I am uh, trying to teach myself so many new things and um, I appreciate your patience, but let's get decorating. This next vignette is going to be um, on the balcony off of our sitting room. And I need to get up here with it doesn't do any good to have a blower because there's no place to blow it. So I literally will have to get a dustpan and sweep up the leaves. And it's only going to get worse because our leaves really haven't started falling yet. In fact, the pool's still very clean. So it's going to be something. I can see that that dogwood there is starting to turn. But anyway, here we are. This is what it looks like. We painted these um, this spring. And they, so this is a very harsh area. People think it's just so awesome. Well, it's hot in the middle of the day. And if we put an umbrella up here, I mean, I guess we could try it. If we, if we had a, a table that was that tall that had an umbrella, it might have a little bit more anchoring. But honestly, the wind, um, I know I've said this before, but the wind <laughs> in a bad storm took one of those umbrellas with the base which is wrought iron and the table and a chair and put it in the pool so when it's windy um i just don't know that i want to do the damage that could happen because we're up on a roof and it could really damage our roof if an umbrella got stuck out there or something i don't know anyway this is what we have so um it's hot. It's really hot out here right now. And just think, this is how weathered this is. And we just painted it in the spring. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do a little vignette right here on the table. And then I bought a couple of artificial plants because, again, I don't think I know a heat-loving plant that could handle um, the temperature out here. I hang on to a lot of stuff when other people might put it in. Goodwill or toss it. I mean, this isn't broken, so there's no reason for that. But it's definitely aged over time. You can tell the candle's pretty yellowed, but if you look even further, it's like the whole bottom is rusted out because it's been out. This has glass or plastic, whatever, but it doesn't have it here. And so it was already rusted before I put it out. The other um, candle lantern that I had out here last year, I put out uh, something and it melted. So I just had to make sure this was a good plastic that was gonna handle the heat, and it has. And I cover all that mess. Um, this is one of these absolutely teeny weeny, I mean, I wouldn't call it a candle ring. But I really don't know what they call these because it's so tiny, it's like a six incher. But I like it. Um, if you remember, my sitting room is very um, muted and white. There's really not a lot of, I don't want any um, oranges and browns out here because you see this from that room and it would kind of, I don't know, I think it would just kind of do something. So I stuffed this in here. Super simple. 
and close her up. I did have a bow on it uh, earlier when I had done it the first time when I did use something that was a little orangier and it just looked, I don't know, it looked a little cheap. So I don't want it to look cheap. All right. And then I just need things that are going to handle the heat and the wind. Um, so far, this has done really well. They're very light. You know, they're plastic um, pumpkins and they're in the lighter colors. And I just I put them back like this so that we actually see them from the inside because nobody's going to be out there looking this way. And that is the simplicity of that. Oh, there's water in here. Huh. I better dump it. Well, there's a drain here, so I'll just dump it here. Of course, I got my sock wet. There's the top of it. I can't remember. I think these are four footers. So I haven't fluffed them out or anything. Um, I bought these on Amazon. And I originally bought them for our lake house. Um, I was re doing the staging, or I was going to redo the staging on the back porch deck. Um, but when we decided that we were just going to be taking it off the market, I thought, you know what, I'm going to not put something that I could use at this house there. So here we are with it here. And I, I don't recall how much they are, but I will link them below if you're interested. The good thing about this is it's in a pretty sturdy pot, and now I'm going to put it in a ceramic pot. I brought out blue ones. I'll show it to you. But I was in the garage. We, yeah, we got three cars at the garage, but we still have stuff in there. And I saw this. Actually, it was on a garden shelf, so it's fine. And I thought this was a better choice for fall than this one. So I am going to, I only have one up here right now. I've got to go down to the garage and get the other, but I'm going to put this in there, see what it looks like. You can kind of see it, but I'm going to cut the tags off, sweep this up, get the other one and show you the final. It's a super small vignette. What else could I do out here? Oh, sure, I could throw a throw out here, but it's gonna blow. It's gonna get damaged. It's going to get bugs and it's gonna get rained on. So I just need to stay pretty practical out here, but I don't want it to be awful. I wish I could do um, some hanging flowers, but I'm just telling you, the sun. I feel like we're on the top floor. We're just closer to the sun up here and it's really hot. I just heard the rooster crow. Yeah, it's early. Normally the morning is so spectacular out here. I mean, the clouds are really pretty and all, but um, as you can see, this is October 3rd. We are not having fall yet. Okay, that's morning on the balcony. So last week I was here and we did this vignette out here and I just want to show you the finished product. I've cleaned it all up. Very simple. And this is what I ended up with with my little spruces, spruce trees. I believe these are four footers. And these I did buy on Amazon. I'm sure the pots were from Lowe's. And I will back up here and try and give you, there you go, kind of see the view. So it's, an, we can't do a whole lot out here. As I said before, weather is pretty fierce on this balcony and uh, wind can be as well. So uh, this is my simple vignette for outside. This vignette is basically a hallway, but it's round. It's the rotunda on the upper floor. And we had this out pouch made so that we could put a piece of furniture in here because you can't hang things on ground 
on a round wall. Um, plus there's a real beautiful trim feature and special paint, not to mention the height uh, as far as being able to hang something. It, it, I don't know what we'll ever do in here, but at least I have it broken up with this one spot and it's got a little spotlight, which I know you can't really see. Um, so I'm just gonna clean that real quick. This is the only picture we've ever hung here. Um, and I love it. I mean, you know I love birds. And I love the, I don't know, it's got that kind of antique, uh, botanical type feel to it. It actually was damaged because it was out in the heat. But I don't know, I feel like it's fixed itself. I think it did. Isn't that amazing? Because we could have given up on it. Okay. Um, first thing I'm going to do is put the biggest piece on. And believe me, I tried many things to get, you know, a feel for something here. And I just would walk by and go, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. So at my other house, this was in my basement. Why? I don't know. Because, I mean... Look at this. This is gorgeous. It's three separate uh, baskets in the handles are uh, like natural wood, uh, like just a piece of somebody bent the wood to make it. It's not like carved or anything. Okay, I bought these lots of years ago at Ashley Furniture Store. I just, I didn't know that they were, they would sell the things that they decorated with, and I had walked in there, and that, the pieces I bought that day, so reasonably priced, I don't think they are anymore, <laughs> um, are some of my most favorite pieces. And, uh, you know, I, so I do have a tendency to keep these together, just because I like the look of the stack. Now that takes up a lot of space. Let me see if I can get you any closer. So it really is the width of the, of the chest. But I really looked hard for something. All right, the next piece is going over here because I want to see how I'm going to balance. And again, when I was at the cottage, I was just digging through the stuff in the basement because we haven't gone through everything. We delete or we... We took out all of the things in our storage units, but I have to be honest, we had, I don't know, I feel like we had three storage units in St. Louis and then three down here by the time we actually moved in. And um, we've emptied them, but we haven't gone through everything because that's a lot of stuff. And I, granted, some of it was furniture, huge, huge pieces of furniture that are now in the house. But there were a lot of bins. My husband's a bin man. And so he's very good at helping me store things. But I don't always know, you know, he's really getting good here. He, I mean, I won't say he wasn't always good. He was. He uses the little, I don't know what they call it, the little thing where you type in what it is and the little piece of tape comes out. He does that all the time on all the bins. But I make it a little difficult because as I bring bins out here, like I just did fall, I'm putting summer back into those. So he's going to have to redo them all. But that way I've got something that doesn't leave me with a bunch of empty bins all the time. I've always got something moving. It doesn't always work out in my favor, but most of the time it does. Okay. Sorry, I get off on tangents because I love to tell you my stories and th th whatever. This... Gosh, I know I've seen, I've shown this before. It's a beautiful piece. It's on a pedestal. Uh, it's got these gorgeous tassels. I, I mean, it's just one of my most breathtaking. It did have an egg and I know I can get some eggs. I'll get some eggs this spring and put in there, but you know what? The eggs are over. It's fall. So I don't need an egg in there right now. Um, and I know it's very green, but there's a lot of green in this picture. And trust me, I've tried several things. So I love the, the fact that we've got a nest and there's a nest in the picture. I love 
all of the different greenery that's referring to some of the greenery in the picture. And you'll see it when I do a close up, you'll see. But I'm putting this here, actually, I want that tassels in the wrong spot. There we go. Okay. Why is it here? Oh my gosh. Let me take you down and tell you why. I just love it when I have a piece that literally ties the piece above it together. So, and I can't get too far back here because you guys, there's a rail. <laughs> and I'll go over, so we don't want that. So please, please be understanding when you realize I can't give you the best shots in this spot because it's not very wide. But um, you can see some of the same um, right here, some of these pieces of greenery are very similar to the greenery in here. And while that one's much more muted, that's okay. And the green antique of the chest, I don't know. All I can tell you is I just find this uh, beautiful. And I love vignettes. They say something to me, I don't know. I just love a vignette, which is why I'm doing my vignette edition. I stole this from the lake house. Uh, it's a long story, but yeah, we still have the lake house. Okay, and then this Luminara, Luminara. I can't remember if this candle was from, I feel like it was from Hobby Lobby. It is a wax one though. So I don't know, it could have been from Amazon. I'll look up if you're interested, but I do love. So this one, it moves. You can see that. So it looks really realistic. I love that. So I'm going to pop that in there. And it also has a timer. I'm just turn, I just turn it on right now. But um, if you put it on the timer, you know, in the evening, it'll come on. And I, even with this glow, if we turn out the rest of the lights up here, it'll be a real, just a special moment. Plus, I like to do that at night, period, like when we go to bed. Because if we have guests in one of these other two rooms up here, you know, it, it's they're in a strange house. If they, for some reason, need to go downstairs, get something out of their luggage or their car or whatever, it's not completely dark, and they'll be able to work their way down the steps. Okay. So next, I'm putting in a couple pumpkins. 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 <laughs> uh, this is just from Stash I already had. So this one's a plastic, and this one's wood. And yeah, there's a little orange there, isn't there? I'm not opposed to orange. The closer, the closer we get to Thanksgiving, I'm not opposed to orange. If if that makes any sense to anybody, it doesn't probably. Um, I just showed you in another video. I save all the leaves, so I got quite a little handful here of leaves that have fallen off of wreaths or something. So. I'm just gonna sprinkle them around like they fell off the tree. And I found a pine cone and I have different colored ones. So that really makes it feel like I'm outside. I love that. Well, I'm going to save the, I got about four more leaves there. I'm going to save it till after I put the last big piece on. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm sure it was a home goods find. I don't know for sure, but I guess it is. Love this thing. It's just a ball. It's ceramic. It's hollow. And it's got distressing on it. I just think it's gorgeous. And I kept moving it around the house, trying to find the perfect spot till I got over here. I was like, okay, this looks nice. And it does. And I'm sorry, I will get closer after I do this. Um, but it needed a little something else to ground it. And this was just the right piece. I love that. So I'm gonna fill in with some more leaves. Um, this one's got, um, 
a little yellow and rust. Here's one with a little sparkle on it. gosh, you guys, I just came from being out on our balcony and I melted and I don't have any powder. <laughs> so, sorry for the shine. I don't have assistance here to do my makeup or anything. All right, we're going to do my entry foyer. Now in this house, I'm not going to turn it around because I got the light over here and everything, so it won't work, but you've seen it before. You come into a double door and it opens to the dining room music area the elevators on one side and then you come into this part which is the rotunda which i call consider the real foyer because i really don't have room to put a piece of furniture that's significant anyway in that first entry area and i think a lot of people that have rotundas will typically put their, especially if they're doing a round table, which of course I am. You've seen this before, it's been here ever since we moved in. I thought this is the perfect table. It fits the curve here and I love it. Um, but it's not centered. If it was centered, we'd have to be walking around it all the time. And I really do like to think practically, not to mention, I've said this before, part of the uh, attraction to this floor plan it was when you walk in the door you immediately see right through the house to the view um, now right now there's a tree that you see but it doesn't matter you still see that you still see all the way through and I just don't want a lot of blocking I want it to feel welcome so the table is pushed there's plenty of room in this little um, nook here for it and uh, soon it'll be replaced by our Christmas tree. So I'm just going to clean this up. A lot of people use their foyers, uh, tables for more, much more practical things. I mean, if you read in an organizer book, they'll say you should, you know, put a little bowl there for your keys. And I mean, it's kind of a lot of things have changed, right? Who takes their keys out anymore? I, I mean, all I have to do is get close to the vehicle with my keys in my purse. So they never leave my purse and I don't lose them. So I don't need them in a little tray here. And this is one of those cases where I'm not about the practicality. Again, 
When you come into your home, most likely you're gonna come in through your garage, not your foyer. Now, at this house, you know, my point is, when you come in from your vehicle, most likely you're coming in through your garage, and most people's garage doors do not open into their foyer. So, all those little incidentals that an organizing book tells you that you should be putting in your foyer really belong wherever you're going to be coming in or leaving your home. And um, I will say in this case, um, we come in through the laundry room, but it opens right into here. So it, it, it could work. But I, again, I don't see this as a space that I want to junk up with I don't know, keys and a mirror to look at myself. I just, all those things are not necessary. This to me is my welcome when somebody comes in. And so I try to have some sense of holiday if there's a holiday or seasonal here. And then depending on what we're doing, if we're hosting a party, it's a great place for hors d'oeuvres or a welcome drink. Um, it's a great place for name tags if I've got a bigger party and people don't know each other. Um, I believe, I probably took a picture over the summer when I hosted something where I had a, my cucumber uh, water here and then I had um, pictures and things of the friends. So what I'm gonna do today in this vignette will be a fall vignette, super simple, but welcoming. You've seen this in so many colors this fall. I can't even tell you. Some of them have pumpkins. Some of them are just leaves and acorns. This is a very uh, deep rust. Uh, I absolutely love it. So am I saying it's orange? No, but I guess to some people that would be. Here's what I love. I tried a cream one, I think. I tried a lot. I had a lot of different things going on on this table till I finally found it was, it was that try, it wasn't that I was trying to make that so special. It was that I was playing with my reeds in different areas. And I have some reeds that are just gorgeous, but I couldn't find a place. And so the wreath made the decision of what went here. And, and so this one looks best with the wreath. like it. I don't want my table scratched. And um, you can see this is a, I, I would assume it's a cherry. I would assume it's a cherry wood. So this kind of looks good on it. Let me see if I can tilt you down just, well, I don't know if I really want to though, because I still want to be able to see you when I talk. All right. This is so simple, you guys. <laughs> I don't know if I've talked about this wreath before. It's so heavy, so heavy. I feel like I probably bought it at Hobby Lobby several years ago, um, cause you know they can, uh, right now this, I bet you this wreath would cost $300 somewhere. It is so heavy. So I want you to see all the gorgeous, whoops. Well, something fell off, but you know, I'm gonna keep it. Um, it's so much to look at in here, I mean, there's feathers. Can you see the feathers in there? Um, there's a burlap sunflower, so you know I had to have it. Artichoke, pumpkin, pine cone, berries. I don't even know what kind of twig this is supposed to be, but gosh, that's gorgeous. The leaves are very muted on it. And I am just, I mean, look at that one. Look at that sunflower. That looks real. It's just spectacular. Okay, oh, and a velvet pumpkin too. All right, it's going flat here. Oh, and I will show you close up of that. Okay, this will give you a much better view of it anyway. Look at this. 
It is one of the prettiest wreaths I own. And again, I, I'm assuming I bought it at Hobby Lobby several years ago. And I couldn't believe the price they were asking. And I want to say it was $129 when I bought it. Um, but you know that it would cost a whole lot more than that. And that was before my discount. So seriously, it was a good buy. I love it. Okay, now I'm going to back up so you can see how beautiful that. It's just, it's, I mean, it's so much more than if I had a, a vase with, a floral design plus it's low and allows me a lot more flexibility of doing other things i mean if i were having a party i could totally put a punch bowl in the center of that and the bowl itself would probably come out enough to protect this because i really wouldn't want punch getting spilled on it but um, that would be a really great idea for thanksgiving or a harvest party Okay, let's finish it up. It's a super simple vignette. Okay, I'm pretty sure these were bought at Hobby Lobby. Um, I have a third one somewhere, and I don't even know if these were the same, you know, like a set of three, but they work together for me, and the, the smaller one, you're not even gonna see the base to anyway. So I'm gonna put this in. I may have to move this because I see things sticking out here, but we'll see. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice the wheat was tied in a, with a little bow. I mean, oh, okay, I'll go on and on. All right. Okay, these candles were from Walmart this year. Um, these happen to be pumpkin spice. I bought probably six or more in different fall flavors or scents, if you want to put it that way. Um, from them this year, I thought they were $6.99, and as I filled my cart with them, I realized they were $9.99, but they're a good size. They smell divine. I love the tint of the, of the um, jar. And I really, even though this is not Christmas and I'm kind of confused by what they tied on it, I did buy these last year. Um, not the pumpkin spice, but Christmas ones um, with these. And I just think they're so cute. And I could take that off, but you know what? It's going to not, I like it. I don't even care. Um, so I'm just going to pop these in. Yeah, I had these a little better. Okay, I did turn that one around, so I don't need to look at the pine cone and that from this side. And I don't care that people see it. Okay, I turned them both away. I can't remember how I had it now. I was perfectly happy with it. But you know, when you start going into the detail of things, you start deciding, I don't like it that way or whatever. Okay, I just think this is beautiful. I can stop here and really, I would. I'm just going to show you what I've done though. And I'm going to keep it out because it makes me happy. One thing you haven't seen a lot in my house is photographs. Um, I take them, I show them to you when I'm doing them for other people and this photograph you'll recognize. I take that back because you always see one in my sitting room. But I mean, I have a pretty good sized family and I'm just not, I'm not good at, at printing pictures and putting them in frames as much as I'd like to. And then when I do it, I'm like, I don't know where to put them. <laughs> So um, I don't want to cover a wall in here. These walls are curved. I couldn't do it anyway. So I don't know. I've got that, I've got that ladder in my bedroom where I've got some photographs. So I'm working on it. Just know that. But you've seen this picture over and over. It's been in our bedroom or our sitting room. But um, this was taken at... Um, just it was a year ago in September and we visited Tennessee and went to the Cheekwood estate which if you ever get near Nashville I really encourage you to go visit it is so wonderful I mean the grounds I imagine any time of year but it was pumpkin city 
it's what inspired my fall porch last year that I had a whole lot of uh, pumpkins and topiaries that were as tall as me. Uh, it was a, it was magnificent. But this this is like a gorgeous tree that we had our picture taken in front of with our friends and we were having a great time. So it's a great memory. It's fall and I love my frame. It's, it's one of these that has words on it. Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breaths away. And I love sentiments like that. So anyway, I'm, I, it does have a back on it, but I'm putting it in a picture frame or a, a, a dish frame here. Plate, plate holder, that's what I'm going at. And I'm just gonna put it back here. You won't be able to see the whole, all the words. Having it here may kind of feel like I'm saying we're your hosts for the weekend. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not uh, offended by that. I think that's fine. But I just, I do like to see um, just memories of my husband and I. I mean, we've been married 44 years and this year, I guess, uh, we were counting back. Well, we met when we were 15. So yeah, 50, now it's 51 years. We have been an item for 51 years, which is kind of hard to believe. And we're still having just the best time of our lives. And so I just want to have memories that I walk by every day that just say, oh yeah, I love that guy. And I want him to do the same. Okay, I'm sure I'm gonna get a couple people telling me it looks like in memory of, but <laughs> it's my house, it's my happy place, it's what I wanna see, um, and it's perfectly fine as your inspiration to do it without the photograph behind it. So simple, a runner, a wreath, two candle holders and two candles. Thanks for joining me today. If you're new, please consider subscribing. It's free. And for all of you that have just watched it, if you would please give me a like. It really, really helps my channel, and I am super appreciative of it. Um, I just want to let you know that October 10th and 11th are Amazon Prime deals again. And they promise to be as good as your Black Friday deals. So if you're interested in something, let me know. I can add to my shop. Um, and if you are looking for home decor, Christmas, clothes, gift ideas, etc., I have many on my shop on Amazon. And you know, I always link it below. It will be at, for those who can't get to the links, it is amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash your home, your happy place. And I add to that really daily. Um, thank you to the people who have started following me on Instagram, even before I started plugging away at it, which now I'm doing um, pretty much on a daily basis since I launched my um, t-shirt business. And I also want to thank those of you who have purchased. Um, it's really, really um, exciting to have sales your first week in a launch because, like I said, I did this for eight years and <laughs> it didn't go anywhere. <laughs> but you know, I didn't have a YouTube channel, but if you haven't joined me on Instagram, please do. I look forward to seeing you over there as well. Um, I think that's all I'm going to say today. 
<laughs> I will see you next time. We're going to do some unboxing, a little bit of a haul, and that will be on Friday. Bye, guys. Thank you.